In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. A hearty welcome to this Eucharist, my dearest brother bishops, my dear fathers, my dear pilgrims, children of Mary, devotees of Mary. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Vincent de Paul, the great apostle of charity, who gave us the example of caring for the needy, but Jesus taught us by his word, his example, and his teaching. We begin our Eucharist when we receive Jesus, both in the word we hear and in the Eucharist that we consume, by putting ourselves in God's presence and asking his forgiveness for our sins. As we say, I confess and to you, my brother, that I have in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, may he forgive us our sins, and may he bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Your people Lord have mercy on your people gathered here. Let us pray. O oh God, who for the relief of the poor and the formation of the clergy endowed the priest, St. Vincent de Paul, with apostolic virtues, grant, we pray, that a fire with that same spirit we may love what he loved, put into practice what he taught. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please sit. A reading from the prophet Haggai. In the second year of King Darius, on the 21st day of the seventh month, the word of the Lord was addressed to the prophet Haggai as follows. You are to speak to Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, the high commissioner of Judah, to Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and to all the remnant of the people. Say this, who is there left among you that saw this temple in its former glory? And how does it look to you now? Does it seem nothing to you? But take courage now, Jerubabel, it is the Lord who speaks. Courage, high priest Joshua, son of Jehozadak. Courage, all you people of the country. It is the Lord who speaks. To work, I am with you. It is the Lord of hosts who speaks. And my spirit remains among you. Do not be afraid, for the Lord of hosts says this, a little while now, and I am going to shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all the nations and the treasures 
of all the nations shall follow in shall flow in and i will fill this temple with glory says the lord of host mine is the silver mine the gold it is the lord of host who speaks the new glory of this temple is going to surpass the old says the lord of host and in this place i will give peace it is the lord of host who speaks this is the word of the lord Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Hope in God. I will praise him still, my Savior and God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. O oh, send forth your light and your truth, let these be my guide let them bring me to your holy mountain to the place where you dwell hope in god i will praise him still my savior and my god and i will come to the altar of god the god of my joy my redeemer i will thank you on the harp o god my god Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. One day, when Jesus was praying alone in the presence of his disciples, he put this question to them Who do the crowds say I am? And they answered, John the Baptist, others Elijah, and others say one of the ancient prophets come back to life. But you, he said, who do you say I am? It was Peter who spoke up. The Christ of God, he said. But he gave them strict orders not to tell anyone anything about this. The Son of Man, he said, is destined to suffer grievously, to be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes, and to be put to death, and to be raised up on the third day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
My dear brother Archbishop, brother bishops, my dear fathers, my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus. The question which Jesus asked his disciples, who do you say I am, is a question that is addressed to us continuously. Who do you say I am? And that's, I think, as we come over here, you and I, as pilgrims to this shrine of Our Lady of Fatima, we hear the same question from Jesus, which he asked his disciples, who do you say I am? And we ask ourselves in prayer, what do we think of Jesus? Is he for us a teacher? or just a teacher? Is he for us a guide? Just a guide. Is he for us a prophet? Just a prophet. Or is he what Peter, Saint Peter, the apostle, exclaimed, you are the son of God, you are God himself. This is the extreme, and nothing could be more than this, you are God himself. Each one of us, sisters and brothers, Come and grow in the knowledge of Jesus every day of our lives. Every day we know him more and more and more. As we meet him and talk to him and experience his presence in the scriptures, in Holy Communion, in our personal prayer, as we experience him. And gradually we know him more and more. Our Lady appeared here in Fatima, and all of us have uh, we've got tremendous devotion to her. And our, I've come over here to thank her, as it were, for her coming to earth to tell us her message of prayer and penance and saying the rosary. But Mary came, Our Lady was chosen, Mary was chosen to give Jesus to us. She is the one who teaches us more and more who Jesus is. She gave Jesus to the world, and she gives him to you and to me. Today, as we pray over here intensely, we ask her to help us to understand who Jesus is for ourselves, each one, to experience who Jesus is, to know him more and more. We begin gradually. He is a great speaker, a great moralist, a prophet who really calls people back to God, until we come one day, that burst of faith as Peter had, say, Jesus, you are God. You are everything. You are my creator. You are my final end. I will be with you for eternity. Till we come to that, we continuously grow in our knowledge of Jesus. And Mary came just for that purpose, to give us a knowledge of Jesus. The first reading, we have the construction of the temple. Darius was constructing the temple, the Old Testament. But at the end they said, the new temple will completely outshine the old temple. The new temple which they were building would outshine the old temple which was there before. But the new temple which Jesus built will completely also outshine that. And the new temple is you and me. It's not just a building, it's you and me. We are the bricks of the temple, the church, of Jesus Christ. You and me are the bricks of which make this glorious place of God's presence. And we must, by our own holiness, continuous growth in holiness, become stronger and stronger and more beautiful bricks for this glorious thing. Today is the Feast of St. Vincent de Paul. And he gave us an example of charity, of always caring for the poor all over the world in all our, many of our parishes where you come from, my own diocese also, of Archdiocese from India, uh, we have the Society of Vincent de Paul caring. And that's, it's important to be a member of the society. More important, to have the spirit of Jesus, which Pope Francis has been continuously telling us, have compassion, go out to the periphery. You see a person in need, reach out. Let your heart reach out to him. Let your mind see how you can help. 
let your hand help. That's what Fran Pope Francis tells us. That's the example St. Vincent de Paul gave us. So today, as we bring our many, many petitions to Mary, our mother, Our Lady of Fatima, we ask her, first of all, to teach us to meet Jesus, to know Jesus better, to understand Jesus better, to finally come to the experience of his presence in our lives, in the community. We ask her to help us to be better Christians, like Saint Vincent de Paul was, somebody who cared for others. We ask her to tell us, what is my calling? How do you want me to be a better Christian, a better member of the church? And finally, we come over here also and ask her with many of our personal petitions that each one of us have got. Somebody sick, somebody dear, somebody in trouble, or success, or joy, or just peace in our lives. We pray that this pilgrimage of ours to this shrine of Our Lady of Fatima brings many graces to us and to all those dear to us. Let us now please stand and make our petitions. Celebrating the marvels which God perfected in the mother of Jesus and our mother, we humbly lift up our hearts to him, imploring the intercession of Mary, who is the health of the sick. For the Holy Church, that she receive and proclaim the word of God, and in the sacrament of the anointing of the sick, be a sign of salvation and hope for the infirm. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all Christians, that imitating Mary, they dedicate themselves with dil diligence in serving one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer in body and in spirit, that they experience the maternal presence of Mary, consoler of the afflicted, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all confined in hospital, that they be cared for with humanity, affection, and concern, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our communities, that they discover the profound value of the mystery of redemption, which is manifest in those who suffer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For us here present, for those in our families who are ill, that through the intercession of Mary, they may attain perfect health of soul and body. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, full of goodness and mercy, you were pleased with Mary's willingness to become the mother of your son. You taught her to be continuously at the service of those in need. Give us the grace to imitate her in every moment of our life. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed be God, 
Blessed be God forever. Blessed be Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. O God, who enabled Saint Vincent to imitate what he celebrated in the divine mysteries, grant that by the power of this sacrifice, we too may be transformed into an oblation acceptable to you. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Lift your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and just our duty and our salvation, always, everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on, on the festival of St. Vincent de Paul, you bid your church rejoice, so do you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. You teach her by his words of preaching. You keep her safe in answer to his prayers. So with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise. Without end, we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, 
and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, Savior of the world, for by his cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, especially St. Vincent de Paul, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Formed by divine teaching and listening to the, our Lord's instructions, we say the prayer he himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress. We wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer you the sign of peace. The Christ's peace be with you. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. Renewed by this heavenly sacrament, O Lord, we implore that just as we are prompted by St. Vincent's example to imitate your Son in his preaching of the gospel to the poor, so too we may be sustained by his prayers. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please, those who want their religious objects to be blessed, just put them in order now. The president of this celebration, he will include the intention of blessing them as he gives us the final blessing, please. I'm inviting, I'm the Archbishop of Bombay in India, and here I'm inviting the Archbishop of Nagpur from Central India, and there are four auxiliary bishops of Bombay. Invite all of them to join us, so all the bishops together will give you a blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of Mary, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. And may you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. The Mass has ended. Go and live the gospel. I Thanks be to God. Happy feast. God bless each one of you. And also, I pray after this Mass, also for your intentions, what you prayed for. God Thank bless you. you.